everyone. Today we are going to talk about the DC motor, which stands for direct current motor. Here I have with me a DC. Just let me see. I can spotlight her. Yeah, good. She is awake. Yes. Very good. Thank motor, you. Wherein there is a co loop of copper wire, a ring magnet, two safety pins. Which are good conductors of electricity, a rubber belt which is an insulator and helps to connect all these together in a complete closed circuit. Very good. What is the principle of the DC motor? Oh, I love this experiment. I have done this myself. When this is placed in the uh, field perpendicular to the field of the magnetic field of this uh, ring magnet, it. Uh, it experiences a force due to which it rotates in a certain direction. As you can see, when a current carrying conductor like this copper wire, when placed perpendicular to a magnetic field, experiences a force. Direction of this force is determined by Fleming's left hand rule. In this case, it is the clockwise direction. Actual DC motor can be represented in a diagram in this way, wherein there is an axle on which the wire rotates, causing a current to be produced, which causes, which can be used in different ways. For example, here I have made a blower at home by using a plastic bottle of any soft drink and making a fan, which is of material like aluminium. And a, uh, and a DC motor which you can get from any nearby shop. This DC motor, when represented by diagram, will look exactly like one shown here. So I am connecting this to a power supply that is in this case a 1.3 volt battery. And what you will see is this fan rotating. Very good. Why does this rotate? This is much similar to that, like the wire in this axle, which causes air to be blown out, acting as a blower. Important thing to be noticed is that when the poles of the magnet are reversed, then what happens is that the direction of the rotation of this fan is also reversed which is in this case becoming anti-clockwise direction. Hence, it can be used in the exhaust like you can see over here. That is all about the DC motor. Thank you. Thank you. You can also change the polarity of Sir, the battery. To ask, you to, my so we will so, we will come back to Delena later on. Delena and Jasmine yeah, will come back to later to on. Can I go to uh, Sharjah as well? Please do no. it. Okay, this is the energy harvesting. I think this is a video uh, which we have to go through. So basically, I, I can skip this one. Let's go to the experiment. Let's go to the experiment. If it is of the same nature, it is best for us to play. Okay, so what I understand is that okay, we can do this later on. Okay. We understand, we can do this later on. Let's go to Uttar. Good morning, everyone. I am a third girl and I am here to take part in the Camborn Fight Festival held by Camp York in UK. I study in class 7 Rukmani Devi Public School, City Block, Pitampura in Delhi, India. I am here to demonstrate my science project, the sanitizer pen. As we all know that Corona has become a worldwide pandemic and there is no vaccine of this disease yet. 
all we can do to save ourselves is to take precautions so today i have made a sanitizer pen that sanitizes the contaminated surfaces let me show how it works so i have filled the pen with sanitizer i put a few drops of sanitizer on the switch and i press so that it switches on and then again off so that it switches off We can also use the sanitizer pad to clean door knobs and other contaminated surfaces. Let me show how it works on our door knob. First, I spread some sanitizer on the door handle, and I can easily open the door and again close it without any contact with the germs. Thank you. Stay home. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will go to Yutang later on. and pragmesh also will go to later on uh, let's 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 get some of the indian kids i think i have uh, skipped some slides from the third one or from the fourth one so let me check with you all if i have covered i think sir, i have or yes. even second page sir yes sir yes, you skipped it from the second or third one you skipped it yes, from sir. the third one yeah for from the third one thank you so much if i skipped it from the third one i'm just opening the third one and even second sir third third one i think it is third one second one i did it successfully let me let me go to the third one and see if uh, bhumika ashwal has done it is it bhumika muskan has yes, done sir, it yes sir she yeah pra 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 uh, slow baking soda i have done it yes, yes this is done now yeah. Naf nafsin nafsin has done Yeah. Nothing has done. Excuse me, sir. Arab, Arab, Arab. Floating water. Yes. Excuse sir. me, sir. I have not done. Yeah. I have not done. Anu, Anu, Anurag, Anurag, Varda. Sir, I have not done. Floating so, water. Floating water. Okay, floating water. Okay, let's excuse go. Excuse me, sir. Let's go to floating water. Yes. Come again. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, sir, I am from India and I have, uh, I have to go to sleep and I have to leave. So I am asking you, uh, the recording will be uploaded on the channel, which yes, YouTube yes, channel? Yes, yes, we will upload. The we name will of upload. the channel? Yeah, we will upload. Sir, I let, let him you know. go first. I don't have to sleep. Okay, well, I no. let him go first. So, so, uh, so, whom should I go? Uh, uh, should, did I, did I, did I, did, uh, did I do this? Absent? No, I let him go first. He, uh, he had Ab to sleep. Absent. Now, now seen, now seen. Did I do this? Yes, sir. Now seen has done. Okay, good, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, kids. Uh, let's go for the floating water. Mitro, my name is Arif Shahid, and I am eight years old, and I'm from Don Bosco International School. I live in Mumbai, India, and today I'm going to do an experiment called floating water. To do floating water, you need A big bowl, a glass of water, and a card. You can take any playing card, any big, any type of card. Okay, so first, you pick up your glass of water. Hold it on this one. Hold it, hold it on the left one. Hold it with your fingers. On the other, on the other side. Take this upside down and and put pressure by the palm. Not just press, put pressure by the palm. Very nice experiment. I loved it. Keep putting the pressure, and there you go. Wow. The reason of this experiment works is because of air pressure. The air pressure inside the glass and outside the glass are equal. But as you can see, the gravity has pulled the water down. First oh, it was like that. Now it's like this. Yeah. And while I was pressing so much. And uh, uh, it sealed here between the between the card and the glass. It was sealed there. But when I remove the seal, the air goes inside and equalizes the pressure, and the gravity pulls the water down. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Well done. Very nice. I'll repeat this, and this is very nice. Like it's like a magic. Very good. Uh, let's go to Anurag. Anurag, are you here with us? Anurag from Delhi. Anurag, or he has gone to sleep. 
Anurag, yeah, Anurag, can you switch yes, on your sir. video, please? Anurag. Yes, sir. Yeah, where is your video? Can I spotlight yes. your oh spotlight video? Anurag, you're not in the video, but I can see. I Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Anurag was so of class 11. Took my yeah. day. I want to present my idea about an automatic AI COVID-19 detector. For this, let me spotlight him. Oh, yeah, you're you're in spotlight already. Yeah. We need and Raspberry Pi 3 Google Raspberry Pi 3 would work as a CPU and Google AI by a voice kit would work as a voice kit so that the robot would be able to speak what he needs to as he would learn what we we are gonna teach him. So next we need is an SD card, a mic. We need a software to boot the whole setup. And then we will need a thermal detector to uh, check the fever of an, any person. And we need a computer or a monitor so that we can sh display everything which we are going to do or our robot is going to do. Then we have, uh, as we know that uh, coronavirus, uh, need coronavirus, to detect coronavirus, uh, we need a virus test test kit so this virus test kit, kit is a kit which is made in many parts of our world so this is a kit which automatically goes to the lab and then we we take a sample of some persons and then we detect from this kit how if if the person has co coronavirus or not or the covid 19 so now we are gonna go to the procedure of the robot now we are gonna so we need to develop an AI system which talks and can learn how to scan someone by the thermal detector. As I told you that the thermal detector would scan if the person would have a fever or something so that uh, we can easily get to know. First you would scan the fever so that uh, it's easier as the thermal detector scans the fever and this is the first symptom of COVID-19 virus. Then we would need uh, then it would transfer a report if the person would have a fever. So it would transfer a report to the main system, and then the main system would automatically give a uh, automatically give a command so that this whole works. This whole kit to test kit starts working and takes some samples of the person, and then it would automatically, as it is AI. So AI basically means artificial intelligence that we all know. So artificial intelligence is all about learning and what we teach them, they will learn it. They learn what they see around themselves. So if a robot would be standing out there and scanning people, that would be more easier and more faster for us to us and even the even it would make a good help for our hospitals because our hospitals have a shortage of nurse and doctors. And then the sample and as the sample is detected uh, detected the coronavirus and so with the AI technology we would be able to do the process faster the, then it would generate a generate a report from the what he from the test kit and then the printer which would be placed in the robot would automatically print a report and it would also be transferred to the nearest or the tra transfer to an hospital because it, these robots would be mainly oh, sorry provide provide and would be a good option for hospitals so it would be provided to hospitals and the transferred reports would be easily available for the hospitals this would make our work faster and easier and secondly this would this is the whole look of the robot. I don't think so like the robot would look like this, but I have just demonstrated how it would. So firstly, this robot would have eyes, obviously, because it is an AI detector. It is an AI detector. So that means it would definitely want an eye and explore the things around it. That would make its process easier. Like uh, if it uh, does the first time it does uh, it in some minutes or some hour, it takes an hour but then it would slow faster speed every time and this would make our work easier every time then we would have a second this is second part which is our mouth now mouth is the mouth will be our google a y 
AIY voice kit. Now this would help us the robot to transfer his thoughts about the about what he feels if a person is sad because he has got his report of coronavirus and he would give him sympathy which would be like which would feel the person like an actual person talking to him but it would be an robot of course then it would be this is our printer which would be attached directly to our robot which would help him to print easily and take out the take out the reports and this would be our thermal detector which would be like one hand it would have a thermal detector the monitor would be on in like the stomach part of the uh, fire robot which would help it to, to display what he sees or what he is going to print now this would uh, this project has a lot of scope inside it but the till now i have made some of the some of the brief discussion and this was the total discussion i wanted to to share with you all about the aaicd so it is automatic ai covid-19 detector thank you thank you so much anurag that was very useful and you have a very detailed presentation so let me spotlight video on myself from dishant, second oh. dishant are you there dishant are you here no not done dishant i think dishant video i have not got manan Sir, second year also. Manan, yes, sir. are you here? Yes, sir, I am here. Okay, can I spotlight you then? Okay, Manan, thank you. And let me go to your video. And you are on spotlight now. Okay, that's it. Hello, everyone. My name is Manan Anand, and today I am going to present you a revolutionary device which can change the history of water purification industry. Hard water or simply water with high mineral content has dissolved magnesium and calcium ions. Naturally, water molecules tend to bind together and form huge clusters with little surface area left to bond with extra calcium and magnesium ions. This allows the hard mineral ions to come out of the solution and form limescale deposits across the pump plumbing system. These deposits can clog the plumbing fixtures causing poor water pressure, performance issues with major appliances like your water heater resulting in expensive utility bills and no hot water at all traditional water softeners work by changing these mineral like minerals like calcium magnesium for soft minerals that don't build up and form scale however these systems come up with high maintenance cost and create soft water loaded with sodium which is neither healthy nor desirable to drink Soft water is even aggressive enough to leach lead from pipes and plumbing lines. The catalytic converter does not softens the water but instead works in a two-way efficient way to clean this water. The device breaks down the atoms of arsenic, lead, benzene which are hazardous to health into a form which is non-toxic. Firstly, water is thrusted into a chamber in which turbulence is created which leads to greater pressure in water molecules than that of the atoms then the water is pushed into a chamber with electrical casing which acts as a catalyst to this reaction and attracts ions to two different ends now these minerals get retained into the water but in an ionic state which is not harmful at all these ions cannot recombine because water being a polar molecule will not let this happen and the water molecule will fill up the empty space between these two ions you would be surprised to know this fact the initial cost of developing this model is just 1000 indian rupees or simply speaking 10.78 pounds which is really very cheap as compared to other models which purify um, water which are currently available in the market okay that's very good very useful information and it should be very very hello ev so let, let hello everyone so sorry so let let's go to vivan now i think vivan is the next one uh, vivan are you there can i spotlight you vivan yes you are there very good you're not sleeping very good and the good thing about the indian uh, guys who have uh, for whom i have skipped the slides and i'm coming back late is that the, uh, they all are hooked to the screen and they have got lot of project ideas from lot of other kids so they have not gone out because their presentation is pending so it is good news for them as well 
that they have seen most of the presentation from others. So let's go ahead with Vivan. Hello everyone, I'm Vivan Kandui from Utpal Sangli Global School and today I'm going to show you some amazing and cool experiments with eyes. Let's have a look. This here is an aluminum can and this is a plastic cover. And I'll put two blocks of eyes of the same size. And see which melted first. You can add on Vivian if you want to speak. Now what we are seeing is that the ice melted faster on the aluminium can than on the plastic. Right. This is because the ice had no contact with the metal since it was a conductor. Of so it heat. trapped the heat faster and melted faster. Okay, so in my next experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bowl of a bowl full of water, some salt, a string, and a, a block of ice. I'm going to put the ice cube in the water and put. Oh, why, why did it stop? Ice cube in the water and put a string over it. I'm going to pour some salt over that region so that the string attaches to the cube. I'm going to leave it for some time. And what I'll notice is that it will be attached. Oh, that's very really nice. I didn't know that. So, how does it happen? How does it stick? When the salt comes into contact with the ice, it causes the ice to melt a little. The ice then quickly refreezes around the string. This causes the ice to stick to the string when it is pulled out of the glass. Very the good. same concept is actually used when you add salt to your driveway or sidewalk during the winter. The salt changes the freezing point of water and causes ice to melt, so you can more easily remove it. So it's a very useful concept which hasn't been used worldwide. Very good, well done. I enjoyed it. And we sprinkle Thank salt you. on the roads as well, you know. We yes, sprinkle sir. salt on the road. On driver wheel. That's very nice. Thank you so much. It was very Thank good, you. very informative. And let's go to the next one uh, with uh, Abir. Abir, are you here? Abir, are you here? Can I see Abir in the participants or he is not here? Uh, Abir is here. I don't think Abir is here. Let's go and play his video and we can tell that we have seen his video later on. I like this. If I pull this with great force, let's see if the coin stay in place. See that? Ouch! Yay! Wow! Hi! Uh, look, I have five different glass, same uh, material, same size glasses, but different levels of water. So now, I'm going to uh, take my stick and bang them. See if they make different sounds. Wow. Kids, you can all repeat at home. Well done, well done. Oh, wow, you saw the level of the water changes the pitch of the sound. Wow, thank you so much, Abir. And how old is Abir? 
Abir is just six years old and he goes to the school as well. Very good, Abir. Well done. Uh, let's go to uh, Dwij. Dwij, are you here? Can I see Dwij? Dishwan Joshi, Dwij. Can I see here? Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm not pronouncing well. I'm from India, Mumbai, Maharashtra, and I made the model to explain the Newton's third law. I have made a gun which involves the third law of motion, and it was that every action has an opposite and equal reaction. So here, what I did is this is my trigger. So when I put my trigger in the hole like this, and then I have to put my refill, and then attach it to the trigger. So now what is happening over there is when I'm pulling this, so the force is generated over here. So this is my action and this is our, from here we are pulling. So this will be the opposite reaction and this will be, this will be equal and opposite reaction. You see it shoots almost, almost 10 to 15 feet far. I'll show you how it shoots. Okay, I think I'm end of his uh, end of his video. I didn't have his full video. Uh, Misty is from Delhi. Is Misty around here? COVID nineteen. Okay, Misty is going to talk about COVID nineteen. Just to know about novel coronavirus or COVID nineteen. The sentence: What is coronavirus? About coronavirus symptoms. Okay, of coronavirus, I think this is more onto on, onto description of what coronavirus is, and we have seen a lot of slides on coronavirus. Coronavirus. We can upload it. We can, we can upload it. Also First, give me the video for all of you to see. So, as because mystery is not here, so it is better for us to uh, just quickly browse through it. How it spreads? And we know that once we put How the video, it so we will be able to. Get all that you wanted us to tell. Important thing is to do all these things. Such as salt water, gardens, have warm water, salt water uh, avoid yoga, outside food, no, warm water, no pizzas, no avoiding no outside the food. Yoga, and then you are fighting the coronavirus. This COVID. And you have to stay at home. And we will come to Belfast later on. We'll come to Belfast later on. We will come to Mumbai. This is Shoria. Shoria, are you here? Shoria, are you here? I think it's quite late out there, but let's play Shoria's one here. Uh, Hello, I'm Shoria Ahe. I study in Jasipin ML School. I live in Mumbai, India, and uh, I'm 11 years old. A special thanks to Sujit Shoda and Shogona ma'am to let me participate in this festival, the Cambon Sands Festival. I have made Talk a working prototype. It can help health workers and doctors in the current situation of coronavirus or COVID-19, where the uh, safety and security is compromised. And here is what it looks like. So this is the brain, also known as the main board. This is the tray to keep the medicines and the other necessities. Well done. We understand this part. 
and we will allow it go. Skip. Okay. The robo dock can also be controlled by a remote. Very nice. Well done. We do a lot of robotics here in Cambridge as well. So well done. Oh, it's quite fast. I hope you like yeah. this robo dock, which is which can help many health workers and doctors work away from the patients, mitigating the risk of infection to them. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was very nice. Thank you. Sai Koshik will come to you later on. Can we come to Shai Sai Koshik? Let's go to Ruan. Ruan, are you here? Ruan, are you live from India? Okay. Let's see. I asked my mama that, how does the chicken chick bleed in the egg? Because the egg shell is so hard. And my mama said, I don't know the answer. So the next day, I asked my mama again. How does the chicken bleed in the egg? Because the mother said, the egg shell is so hard. were harmed okay i understand the concept but there's no chick inside so don't worry kids so Sir. uh milton keynes will come later one day okay so are all indians all 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 of you have got a chance so is there anyone who is from india left yet i think there's no one left very good so we will now concentrate on uk in uk and in uae probably if it is so let's let me go back and go back to uh, the first slide of this presentation where we started, uh, I think we uh, we will go back to the one uh, where we can take up the kids from the we can take uh, we I think I think I think I think we can take uh, the kids from Belfast. I think that's what is appearing here first. Let's go to the Belfast kid here. How? Uh, yeah, let's go to the Hello, Belfast kid here. here. Yes, Methodist Hello? College. Yes, who is that? Uh, it's me, Trivik. Trivik, I'll come back to you. Let's finish this. I know, Trivik, I'll come back to your slide later on, okay? Okay, just just have a cup of tea and come back. Oh, sorry, cup of milk and come back. Okay? We will, we will come back to you. Let's finish this slide because this is the one I skipped. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I, I skipped it because of some technical problem. So they were in the list right, right in the beginning, but somehow I missed them. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the Belfast. Are you there? Yeah, it's here. Oh, yeah, you are here. Can I give you a spotlight here? Because we are in uh, UK and it's still sun has not set. So we can't go to bed now. So Sir, I'm from UAE and it's quite late here. Too. Okay, who, who is telling it's quite late in UK? Uh, sorry, in UAE. Oh, UAE. Today, I'm going to explain about my science project. I thank okay, just give me one second. Sorry, well, give me one second. Uh, Umay, please. Uh, can, okay, let me take after this. Okay, UAE, I'll take after this. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. My project is going, to, is going to be based on Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is the smallest and the smartest computer in the world. This project will be about the laser emitter. And this project will be divided into three sectors. Number one will be about the wired connection. Number two will be about the code. And number three will be about the demo. First, we are going for the wired connection. The laser emitter is a sensor which emits a laser. The laser emitter has three, uh, three pins. Number one pin is about the output, and the output is resembled by the white wire, which goes to the pin number 18. Number two is positive. The positive wire is the, is the red wire, brings electricity for, in case for the laser to blink. Number three is the negative wire, and it goes to ground port. 
and the project it will be when the laser uh, emits laser every one second and blinks 50 times. Now, I'm gonna explain about the code. The code, as you can see, is based on GPIO, which is General Purpose Input Output Mode. Very good. And that is based on this whole code. This is a blinking for function. This gives information to the Pi and then back to Hi guys, the I'm from India and it's 11.36 by... You see, there uh, is 18, which is the pin number 18, as we do. Now, uh, this uh, this is a small function I wrote for the laser in the or in order to blink. Now I'm going to run this function. Good, well done. It's blinking off, on, off. Now, if you see here, the laser emitter, mm -hmm. it's coming on and off, on and off. Very nice. Well done. Good, keep doing projects and keep... And that concludes on. my science project. Thank Very you. good, well done, thank you. Let me change the spotlight to the one. Well done, well done. Uh, so Mumbai, we have done Mumbai. Hello. We uh, lie, Sai, Sai Koshik. Sai Koshik, are you here? Sai Koshik? Koshik, are you here? Sai Koshik is not here, but still we can play uh, his video. Um. Hello, my name is Kashik and this is my science project. This project is supposed to investigate what fruits and vegetables conduct electricity. Here are my test subjects. A cucumber, some water, a tomato, a lemon, a cashew nut, and a grape. So let's go on to the first test, which is a cucumber. So I'm going to poke one end of the cucumber in here, and the same with the other end, and see if it conducts electricity. The tick mark is showing, so this shows that it does conduct electricity. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is going to be a tomato. But before we do that, we're going to wipe it with a tissue. So it is a fair test and the stuff from the other fruits and vegetables doesn't affect the reading of this one, of the new one. So, yeah, so I'm adding tomato stuff in and there's a tick mark showing meaning a tomato does conduct electricity. That's good. Okay, let's, let's make it a bit faster. We're going to wipe it. You are doing it in the right segment because the, between each segment, which is these lines here, is a segment. Yeah, this basically makes sure that stuff from here doesn't move to here. So you need to make sure for this to be good, you need to make sure that they are in the same segment. Okay, well There's done. a tick mark showing, so it does conduct electricity. Actually move on to the grip. Why so not? I'm going to just place them in this time. Oh, good. And you can see a tick mark is showing meaning it does conduct electricity. The way and move on to the last one, which is a cashew nut. There should be no tick, for sure. I know this isn't really a fruit or vegetable, but I think it's better to test it with. So I've got the two things. I'm gonna place it on the micro bit. I mean on the crocodile clips. And you can see that it's an X mark is showing, so it doesn't conduct electricity. And you can see I'm going to get the grape again, and when I did the same thing here, there was a tip mark showing, so meaning it does conduct electricity. So we're going to go for the last one, which is the raisin. It's better to squish them up, so it, because all the acids or alkalis or anything move all around the place. And you can see that it doesn't conduct electricity. Wow, as, very good, as well done. Marcus shown. Now, I'm going to do the next bit, which is actually dip it in water, and let's see if it if the water conducts electricity. Okay, the water does conduct electricity. 
So the water we're not actually going to take that seriously, unfortunately, is because this is tap water and tap water sometimes may be a bit acidic or alkaline. So it's, we can say it's not pure water. And plus, because we have been dipping it with lemons and stuff, the effects on the water may be may differ so much differ. So we're not actually going to use this as a, as a major test. So in the results table, I'm not going to actually put water in it. Water would be a supplement for a tissue to um, get rid of everything, like the acids and alkalis of um, some fruits and vegetables. So I can just dip it in here. That's it, and move on to the next one. So for this, I really want to, to show you how um, this works. So this is basically a circuit, a battery connecting to a light bulb in here, and basically a switch. So if the switch is closed, the circuit will turn on, because the binary number of pin one, which is here, will say, my, my circuit is on, so I'm going to change my number into one, so, and if one is shown, the tick mark is shown. But if I do make the circuit not closed, it will say, my circuit is not on. So I'm going to make my pin number zero. So an X mark is will be shown. So I hope you like my experiment, and thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Sai Koshik. That was well explained and well done. Let's... Koshik, yeah, got confused with Shai Koshik name two times, so he missed watching the video. Don't worry, yeah. So, okay, let's go to Vandit, another another young kid from Milton Keynes. So let me Hi, let me. This let, is before, before before I start, sorry, before I start Vandit, can I spotlight Vandit because I can see I know him, Vandit because he knows me, I know him. We are in the same club. So let's go to Vandit. I spotlighted Vandit. Are Vandit? Can you say hi to all? Hi. Okay, Koshik, we missed you, but we saw your experiment and we sh saw your project. Sai Koshik. So, Sai Koshik, we saw your experiment and it was really good with the micro bit with the conductor. And it's over to Vandit. Yes, Vandit, let's go and play your video. Excuse me, sir. Hi, this is Vandit. Hello, sir. Today, I will be demonstrating oh, how me. the water moisture meter for plants will work okay Here just one minute just one minute Vandit yeah carry on somebody wants to interrupt yes sir uh sir I'm Aisha and I'm from UAE I have to leave the call now so I, I have made a poster it would be great great if you can check it out later because I, I have to leave the call now okay thank you so much um Aisha we will we will do it this time as well and we we promise to do it next time as well your poster will be okay. displaying okay Aisha have a good so night sleep. Not, uh, the poster is nothing but the earth elements and all that and that we should take care of the earth that's it okay thank you so much Aisha I, I'll convey your message and we will we will see you next time as well thank you sir okay bye 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 okay 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 one day here is my make code and I've downloaded it onto my micro bit. Here are the materials you will need. Two nails, some dry soil in a pot. Very good. Four crocodile clips, a, a speaker or some headphones, a micro bit and some water. Now I will be testing if the project is working. So as you can see, the micro bit, the soil is really dry. So on the micro bit, there is a sad face and the alarm has been raised. Yeah, this means that. Yeah. that your plant is not well kept and will die. So you have to pour in some water until the micro bit turns into a happy face. I'm sure it will turn happy. As you can see, there is a happy face on the micro bit. Excellent. This means that, and there is no alarm now. This means that in the soil, has the correct amount of moisture level and that your plant will grow into a healthy plant. But if you pour in too much water, 
Wow. This means that there is a surprised face on the micro bit. This means that your plant is not well kept and that you have poured too much water and it will eventually die or grow into an unhealthy plant. Excellent. So you will always want to maintain the moisture level just enough so on the micro bit it shows a happy face and your plants will grow into a healthy plant. Excellent, Vandit, excellent. And you've extended the project. Very nice. You've extended the project. We'll get to know more about it Thanks, uh, next time. Very good. You have extended the project and I'm very happy that you have done it so well. Thank you so much, Vandit. Thank okay. you, sir. So is anyone left here from UAE? Do we have anyone from UAE? No, no. Okay. So should we go back? To the last slide, uh, last set, where we had a lot of people, a lot of students who are from Cambon and from Cambridge and from UK. So let me go and project it from the first and see. I think I have to go with the Trivik. Trivik is the next one. I think so. If Trivik is the next one, let me go and project this slide if this is the right slide set of slides. Oh, why is it? Why is it? Oh, okay. I'm at the end. Sorry. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Yeah, I know why I, why this is happening. I have to go to the first slide and press Zakia. Okay, that's the first slide. I, uh, Ayushi. D did we do Ayushi? No. Ayushi, are you here? Ayushi, can I see you in the video? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. Just give me one second. What did I, I do with my Zoom? I've okay, got now. okay, Ayushi, where are you? Can you have, wave at me? Ah, yeah, you're with Praveen's phone. That's the reason. Oh. <laughs> okay, no problem. You are on. You are. You are Ayushi now on the live video. So let me play. Very good. Let's see. Let's play your video. Very good. Thank you. Ayushi. Will show how when you add more water to the soil, the pH will change. So I've got my code over here, the micro bit, and I've connected my micro bit to the computer. I've also added crocodile clips on pin one and pin three V. I've also connected them to the soil over here. I'm first going to test the pH of the soil when it's dry. So I'm going to press button A, which is 623. I never knew that you can use micro bit to measure pH. Well done. Here. Yeah. And I like your idea of noting down. And then I'm Thank going you. to be adding a little bit of water to make the soil um, moist. Very good. Spread it out. Well done. I'm going to test the pH. 867. And then lastly, I'm going to add more water to make the soil wet. And it's slowly dissolving in the soil. I'm going to test the pH again. One zero 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 three. Oh, One thousand and three. As you can see, the pH changes each time. Thank you for watching. Excellent. Very well done. I like your presentation. I never knew that you can do pH value with uh, micro bit. It is a Thank wonderful you. project. I will include it in my curriculum. Very nice. I like your, uh, observa I like your observation, taking observation on, on a piece of a paper. And we will see how you can plot it later on. Well done. Thank well done. you. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Very well done. We will have this presentation again, maybe next time. Uh, all of you, we will have this some of your presentation next time for others to see as well. So let's go to Kabir. Kabir, are you there? Yeah, Kabir, you are there. Kabir, you have, I can spotlight you, Kabir. Um, okay, Kabir is in Cambon. I don't know your age and I don't know your school. You can tell all, of, all about yourself. Um, I'm 13 years old and I'm in Cambon Village College. Excellent. You have grown up now, Kabir. It is very close by. Let's go to Kabir. What do you have to say, Kabir? 
Hi, this is Kabir Anand and this is my CRC Science Festival project. I'm a student in Year 8 and I really like STEM, so I decided to make a scratch game. This game is inspired by Ghostbusters. So this basically tells the code of the ghost. So the aim of the game is to click on the ghost to capture it, and the ghost is going to appear anywhere on the space map. Wow. So what it's going to do is it's going to hide forever, and it's going to wait a random amount of time, anywhere between 0 0.5 seconds to 2 seconds. Then it's going to go to anywhere on the space map, and it's going to change its size. So it could be really big, or it could be really small. And then it's going to show itself. It's only going to show itself for 0 0.5 seconds or 2 seconds, or, in, or anywhere in between. So you're going to have to be quick about catching it. Also, when you do capture the coast, it's going to play a pop sound, and it's going to hide itself. It's also going to change your score by 1. So this is the code for the backdrop, or the map. So what this tells the backdrop to do is that when the green flag is clicked, it's going to set its score to zero. You click the green flag to start the game. It's also going to set its time to 25 seconds, and this is going to go down continuously by one second until zero. And once it reaches zero seconds, it's going to stop the entire game so that everybody only has a certain amount of time to catch a ghost. It's, it's a really simple game, and but it's quite fun. And if you want to make it, all you need is access to the internet, a computer, and Scratch. Thank you for listening. Okay, well done, Kabir. Okay, very good. Well done. We have done this. We have done this one. Hello. And let's go to Dele now. Yes, Delena, are you here? Can I spotlight you, Delena? Is it okay to spotlight you? Hi. Yeah, hello, how are you? She's very close by to Cambon, not too far away from us. So let's see your uh, project. Very nice project, interesting project. Let's see. Oh, you have big equipments. Let's play this video. Hello, my name is Delena. I am eight years old. Today I am demonstrating electroplating. Electroplating is the coating of an object with a metal. It is done by immersing the object and the metal in a solution called electrolyte. Electric current is applied, the positive is connected to the metal and the negative is connected to the object. The metal dissolves in the electrolyte, coating the object. Here is how it is done. For this experiment, I am going to use a jar full of water, some bicarbonate of soda, two copper plates, a piece of metal that I will be plating, a DC power supply, and some wires with crocodile clips. We need 10 grams of baking soda for every 100 milliliters of water. I have 400 milliliters of water in my jar, so I'm going to put 40 grams of bicarbonate of soda in. plates to the wires and put these in the solution making sure they don't touch. I just make sure that the plates aren't touching and now I'm going to turn on the power supply. this for one hour. And I'm back after one hour and as you can see the electrolyte has turned blue. This means a lot of copper has dissolved into it. Now I'm going to replace the copper plate attached to the negative side of the supply and put my object that I want to plate instead. Wow, very good. Well done. 
Can they hear me? Now Can they I'm hear going me? to turn the power supply on. I'm going to get you. And wait for another hour. I'm back after one hour and let's take a look at the object we wanted to electroplate. As you can see, it's been coated with copper. And I'm going to clean it up for you and show it and show you a close up. Here is the object we electroplated. As you can see, this side is coated with copper, the side that was dipped in the solution. This is this part is completely covered in copper because the positively charged copper ions were attracted to this part of the spanner, create making it stick here. You can also see some coins I plated earlier. This is without the plating and this is with the plating. Same here, this is without the plating and this is with the plating. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Thank you, Delena. That was so nice. And let's, very nice, very, very successful experiment. Hello. And let's go to your sister. Your sister is uh, there with you. Yeah, Jocelyn, can you can you all hear me, right? Yeah, put a thumbs up if you can yes, hear me. Can. And well done. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's go to Jocelyn and see what she has to do. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. From where can we find this recording? Yeah, we will we'll send you the link. Maybe I'll upload it in, in the YouTube and you can see the link. Uh, and oh. moreover, I'll try. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm doing the recording right. Uh, but all of you, those who are here right now, uh, please don't log off after you finish. You have to be there because we have to give chance to others. And you, you, you can switch off your video if you want, but uh, be there uh, so that we can listen to all. And uh, we promise that we repeat some of these experiments, which we are doing late night today. We will repeat that in June 6, we, we will have another one. And you all will move up in the ladder first. You, we do all these things first, and then we come to the new one. Okay, let's hear to Jocelyn what she has to say. Very nice project. Hello, my name is Jocelyn. I am five years old, and today I am going to show you how to make lava lamps. First thing, you need some oil in a plastic bottle. Second thing, we need one toothpick, and we need some water. We need red food coloring, we need some tablets, and we need a funnel, and we need one spoon. So now we'll, let's make the red water. Very good. I'm going to mix the food coloring into the water. Next, I'm going to put an effervescent tablet inside. Excellent. You're explaining so well. Very good. Well done. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you 
enjoyed my lava lamp. Bye bye. Very much. And you're just five years old. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Bright future. Well done. Very good. And very nice video. And your dad sent me such a huge video. The quality was so nice. The computer started crashing. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank you. But it was very nice. I loved it. Thank, thank you. you so much. And let's go to the next one. Your video quality is very nice. Hello. And let's go to Sharja Shashini. We covered this, I think. So please, all, all of you stay back. We done this one. We done this one. Let's go to India. Uh, no, not India. Sorry. Let's go to UK. Indian people are sleeping. Uh, Yutang. Yutang, are you here? Yes. Can, can I spotlight you? Can I spotlight you? Yes, and he is the youngest member of our electronics and robotics club, probably. Let's hear, you're in spotlight, you turn and let me see what you have done. You have just attended one class and see what he has done with one session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's play his video. My name is Yuta and, uh, and uh, my project is Snap the Dot. But not really the same as the Snap the Dot, but just a bit more taller and Twitter. So this is what you need. Um, a basic stuff. You can just put this right there. Because, because, um, I don't really want to do that because they're really messy. And I'll tell you a final one to do. <laughs> so, this is what I made, the Snap the Dot. Basically, snap the dot is the game where you need to snap the dot at the center of the day of the LED. But I figured this out a bit. Um, I figured this out a bit more interesting. And then I added loads more. I added poor. I mean, I mean, I mean the port and the resume and the timer and snap. I really like the timer I died because when you play, just do this and when you do that you death. Wow you know more my micro bit than I do. This was just your first session. Okay that's good very well done and I think you have another one uh, the second part of it we'll play it very quickly and you are doing very well. Keep experimenting. Very nice. Three, two, one, and done. If you don't really think that's really worth it, but you can count with me, you, it does the same oh, wow. numbers. I always press it at the same time. So if you, and this one is way easier than the natural one. Because the natural one is all about getting points, but this one, if you get other ones, you won't even die. So this is game over because because it's because it's time up. And you get game over. You just slide that right a bit, five by five, and it will just a score. And what do you think? And then it shows the number, how many you don't want. Sometime I can get 24, that's my best score. And yeah, it's totally worth it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, Yenten, how old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Um, eight. And you did only one session and you know so much. Well done. And I think you can take class next time. I'll, I'll hand it over to you take the sessions. Okay, well done. And keep playing with it. Very good. Well done. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, is Pragvansh, are you there? I don't know. Hello, I forgot me. Pragvansh? Hello? Okay, let me, yeah, Trivik, I'll come back to you. Just one minute. Pragvansh, if you're not here, and if you are not doing any video Hello. presentation, uh, I will just skip this one. Thank you. I will come back to Trivik. Trivik, just give me one second. I will start from your uh, slide. All of you stay back. There is one uh, few presentation left, only few presentation left. And if you can stay back for your friend, that will be excellent because uh, we will we will have the full presentation of 
118 kids today. That is good. So let, 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 me, let, me, let me check with this presentation and I will go to Trivik. Let me wait. Uh, Trivik, give me one minute. Yes, I saw your slide here. And this is what happens with your slide. Let me see if I can bring back your slide. Is Trivik slide here on the screen? Not yet. Trivik, can you see the screen? No. No, I can't. Okay, let me let me let me let me see. I can see it here. Why I can't see it there? Uh, uh, new share. Let me let me go for the presentation. Why is my video not working? Just give me one second, all the, all of you. Uh, I'm here with you. Uh, maybe my TV is there. Yeah, my TV is there. Okay, it will come back. Just give me one second. Um, no, I want the video. You know, you are in the video. Yes. Okay, let me uh, let me put Trivik in the video first. Where is Trivik? I can't see you, Trivik. Yeah, I can see you now. Wait, let me spotlight you. Once I spotlight you, you can say hello, and you hello. can. I can, I can, I can bring your slide back. Let me bring your slide back. Why is this slide uh, not responding? Uh, I can see that my slide is open here. Trivik slide yeah, is here. I can see the presentation, but why I can't see it on my TV is a good thing. Okay, maybe I have to escape it. Okay, I have to escape my slide here. Okay, and I then project Wait, your. So you, I need to hold you. Yeah, just give me one second. I know what I'm doing. And uh, let me go to Trivik's one. Trivik, are you in Festival 6? So all of you be with me for a while. I know you can see my screen, which is uh, green in color. Is that so? Yes. Okay, good. Then I think I know what I'm doing and I will get you here soon. Uh, you are in the right slide now. And I have projected my slide. Is this Trivik year seven from Milton yes. Keynes? Yes. Good, Trivik. Say hello to all and start your presentation. This is your presentation. Hello. Yeah, let, There's let a me... video. Yeah, there is a video. I'll play the video. And you have done a beautiful project. And you have told me there are 88 animals, uh, animal shape in the, in, the, uh, in the sky. Yes. That is, that is something I didn't know. For sure. I didn't know that number. And you have, oh, so many. Very good. This is your video. Yes. Hello, I am Trivik and you are going to learn about constellation. So, I have done a scratch project about stars. How cool is it, okay? Well, when you come, when you come. Very good. When you connect the stars, it makes an animal shape. There are 88 of them. The beautifulest one, the beautifulest one is Orion. And the largest, and the largest one is Hydra. And the oldest, and the oldest one is Taurus the Bull. And the most famous constellations are Polaris and the in Little Bear. And, and, uh, and the brightest constellations are the Sirius, the dark star, okay? So, this is the northern and southern constellations. So, the northern one, so both of them don't rise uh, or set. So, the northern ones are great, well, which, which is say, say that the Osa Major and, and the other one is Lyra. We see Lyra and Bear and Scratch, so that. Now, let's go to the southern one. And the Apus, Bird of Paradise and Fiat for Phoenix, Firebird. They both come, they, they both are sounded, okay? This is, this is the, so, this is Lyra and Spread. The summer one is Lyra and this is, and the spring one is Carvest the Crow. I will show you, I will show them both on scratch, okay? So, this is, so these, so Orion the Hunter comes on winter, okay? I'm sure the sketch now. And uh, at autumn, they finish the dolphin cubs. Okay? Oh, well okay. done. Okay, so. Sorry, lost. Okay, maybe. There's another maybe... video. Oh, there is another video. Yeah, I realized you have another video. Yeah. Go Good. closer. We're explaining very well. Let's go to Google first. Closer. Go. 
Okay, hello. And this is Lida. I said Lida. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how it moves. Okay. Wow. Look, that's how it moves. Okay. Very nice. And the code is uh, when you go to events, you see when the flag clicked. Okay. And if you go to control, you get forever. Okay. And when you go to motion, you have move 10 steps and turn 15 degrees. There are two 15 degrees. You should get the one well, which is here, okay? Okay, so so let's move on to the next one, okay? Very good, Trivi. You're doing really well. So, this is... So, this is the great band, which I said was a major. Look, it's it's moving, it's moving. But I'm sorry, it went out of the frames. So now let's so let's uh, yes, uh, well, when you go to so okay, this is Carver's the crow, which keeps flying, okay, which keeps moving around a bit, okay. So, huh? Okay, they keep moving and and then. Yeah, keep saying. And now let's go to the hunt, hunter, hunter Orion, okay? Look, this is Hunter Orion, okay? Let's see what he does. Wow. He has 20 stars uh, to make a constellation. Let's see. Look, that's how he moves. Huh? Now I have to spend my whole night in the garden. Look. Looking up in the sky. He keeps moving and... Uh, and sometimes Hi. see you later well, well done Trivik and the Trivik thanks, is... thanks for watching me oh, hope I get to see you later bye yes thank you so much Trivik and uh, Trivik is doing micro bit with me uh, from Milton Keynes and I think it is the right time for you to switch over with micro bit and uh, the scratch you will do very well with it Thank you, Trivik. You are very good at it. You can be a good professor as well. Thank you, Trivik. Let's you. go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's go to let's go to the next one. Let me see the next one. Is it from Trivik? Let's skip this one. Skip this one because we have done this one. We have gone to the next one. Yeah, let's go to Zoya. Zoya is very close to our place, and she is going to take up a very very interesting. Let me let me. Give a spotlight to Zoya. She is smiling and say hello. Hello. Hello, Zoya. Thank you so much for your project. And let me play your project. And you are in King's College. You are in the college, not in the school. <laughs> oh, I went to the college very late. Let's go to the college. Okay, let's let me pick up your experiment first. Hi, I'm Zoe, and I'm going to demonstrate the hydrophobic nature of that. Fats are nutrients found in everyday food. Fats are non-linear molecules. This makes them insoluble in water. To show you this in action, this is our experiment. For this, you will need 100 milliliters of milk, full fat milk, a little bit of washing up liquid, food colouring of your choice. I have decided to use red, green, blue and yellow food colouring, a pistil pipette and a cotton bud. Very good. You might also want to take two bowls of water, one with water and one for rinsing your pistil pipette out from the food colouring. Let's get started. So start by pouring all of your milk into the plate. Then you'll take your food colouring. You'll only need about one drop or two. Wow. I can drink that milk later as well because it's a food colour. Then you take your cotton bud and your fairy liquid. And with one side, just put some of the fairy liquid on there. 
then you'll take your cotton bud and put it right in the center of the plate. Wow, what is going to happen? Wow, excellent, beautiful, very nice. See the magic happening. Wow, you all are great magicians. So what's happened here is the soap molecules, which are soluble in water, have pushed the fat molecules in the milk away from the center of the plate, making all of the colors sort of dance around. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to try this at home and stay safe. Yes. Thank you, Zoya. We will definitely, definitely try at home. We have a big can of milk, which the date has expired, right? And so what we're going to do, take all this milk and do your experiment and take some photographs. Excellent, Zoya. Well done. And, and, and we are very happy that you, you, you are here with us and we will have this video presentation again. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Very good experiment. Let's go to the next one. What is that? Oh, we have done this. We are skipping all Indians now. We are going to Rian. Rian, you are, are you here? Indians focus. Oh, yes, you are in the science festival dress. Let me spotlight you. You are in such a nice dress. Thank you so much, Rian. And you are six years old, just six years old, and you want to talk about healthy and junk food. And you also have your brother. Yeah, we will have all the presentation now. And all I'm watching you very patiently. And let's go to your brother first. Yeah, your brother first. Very good. My topic is healthy food and junk food. We eat food every day. Food is us to grow and to live. Food makes us strong. Food gives us energy to work. We should eat healthy food. I have made some posters and a table for healthy food at Very Always good. Choose healthy food and live happily. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is very, 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 very important that we eat healthy food during this time. We all have to build up our immunity system, and for our, uh, our, our for us to be very immune to uh, all the viruses and other stuff, we have to always eat uh, healthy food. Very good. The poster is very well made. Take a photograph of the poster and send it to us. It is very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next slide. I think the next slide is from your sister, eight years old. Okay, and you are going to talk about plants with and without water. Let's see what is it. Very good. I am Rihanna studying in year three in Jeevanswood Primary School. My topic is plants with and without water. We need water to live. Like that, all plants need water to live. For my experiment, I have taken two pots filled with soil and put some bean seeds. One pot I have kept near the window and water every day. The next pot I have kept near the window, but I haven't watered them. Very good. So from pot one, I can say when seeds get enough water, sunlight, soil and air, it grows into a new plant. And from plant pot two, I can say even though seeds get enough sunlight, soil, air, and when there is no water, it they can't grow into a new plant. So water is needed for a plant to live and grow. Water your plants and make a greener planet. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was very, very informative, very good, and well done. And you have done an experiment and we, we have to thank you. Okay, good, good. I can see. Thank you, Card. Thank you so much. And we should all water the plant. Uh, the very nice, uh, rightly said, we should all 
water the plant and we know what all things are required. The sunlight is very important. And for us, sunlight is very important right now because for us, we require vitamin D. Uh, so we have to also go out in the garden, only to the garden, not anywhere else. Um, okay, let's, we, we have to also, yes, let's go to Leo. Leo, where are you? I can see Andy. Andy, can you switch on your video, please? I want to I want to spotlight Leo. Where are you? Where is Leo? Yes, Leo, I can see you now. Can I spotlight you, Leo? Thank you so much, Leo, for your project. This is your automatic street Sir, you, light. Give you give a look with Leo. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hello. Say hello to Leo and we will go with his video. Is it a video or is it a presentation? Leo's automatic. Leo, you can you, you can talk over. Uh, unmute yourself and talk over if you want. Okay, let me press the key. I think there is a video at the end, probably. Okay, yeah, there is a video here. I think. Uh, let's play the video. <laughs> oh yeah. Did it play? Should they play it again? Wow, that's a lift. Leo, very nice. How did you do that? I love it. And it's stopping at each floor, it seems. That's quite intelligent. That's quite intelligent. Wow, I love it, I love it. What's that? Was that a fire alarm? Wow, you're making so much of noise as well. Very nice. <laughs> I love it. The sound, the music. Wow. Excellent view. Very good, Leo. Did you did uh, did you want to say something about it, Leo? I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and it was so nice. It, it was fun with, with the with the with the sound and the music. It was lovely. Well done. Is it is it is it with micro bit or is it with some something else? I can't hear you, Leo. Can you unmute? Oh, is that... Your your, your 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 mic is not working. Somehow you are not on mute. You are not on mute, but your uh, your 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 speaker is not. Your microphone is not selected. I think you have to select the right microphone. We can see your video, but we can't hear you. You are unmuted, uh, but it is good. Okay, thank you so much. Don't worry. Uh, uh, yeah, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Leo and Andy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let me change the spotlight to me. Okay, uh, you must have been bored by seeing me all through. Uh, I uh, Aisha is not here right now from UAE. Uh, uh, Dishant, okay, we have covered. So did we not Hi, cover anyone else, I am anyone Dishant. else whom I have not covered? Did we cover all of you who are here? Can, 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 can anyone let me know if I have left anyone? Hello, my son, so um, Navtej is not covered. Navtej, uh, what is his name, Navtej? Uh, and, uh, and, uh, Navtej Vetsa. Did, did you receive my mail that uh, you are there in the list? Uh, we didn't receive the email though. Oh, okay, so maybe what has happened is that as because we didn't receive your video in time, we were not able to do that. No, we so, received, we sent it to on time though. Uh, I'm not very sure why it didn't appear in camp. Uh, did you it was sent it? to that Outlook email ID, copy to, I think. Uh, yeah, but did you send it uh, recently or did you send it long back? No, we registered much earlier and we sent it to last week. I think maybe we sent it on Friday. Oh, somehow, uh, somehow, uh, your name doesn't. Uh, did you not receive our email then? 
We did not. We did not receive any acknowledgement or any reply afterwards. Okay. Yet. So we will we will take your priority. We will go to the next one on June sixth. Okay. I I please email me. I got the video I will, I will on let... my computer. If you like, I can. Uh, okay. Share yeah. it. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Where, 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 which can you can you switch on your video, please? Yes. Yeah. So let me let me spotlight you first. Oh, uh, page and let me let me see if I can give you the. Uh, I have not done this before. Can you please hold on for a while? Hello, everybody. I'm Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm Navtej, yeah, just give me one second. Can you? Can I? Can I give uh, the sharing? Um, I'm not sure if I can give the uh, control to you. Let me see. Uh, I'm not very good at uh, uh, Zoom thing. Uh, what I understand is that if your video is on, I can give uh, spotlight to you. I can do that much. Where is it? Your video is not on, Navtej. Navtej, your video is not on. Okay, so, so so can we do one thing, if you don't mind, can we do... Okay, uh, we will settle with Navtej uh, within a few minutes. Is there anyone else other than Navtej? Navtej, I can see you, okay? Can, I can see you, uh, now I can spotlight you. Let me spotlight you, okay? Everybody can see Navtej, that's good. Uh, how do I give a... Uh, uh, can I give a unmute it? Unmute it, okay. Uh, can I give uh, the spotlight? But how can I give you? You click on the share screen uh, button uh, next to the participants. Uh, next to the participants for me, it shows new share. It says disabled attendee screen sharing. You yeah, need to enable the screen sharing yeah. first. Yeah, that is what so I have. Stop sharing the screen. Yeah, let me let me stop yeah, my let me stop my, my screen sharing. Yes, maybe okay. that might help. I have done yeah. that. And now you need to enable the screen sharing. Yeah. So how do I do that? You click on my our name and say enable sharing. Okay, let me go to the participants and your name is uh, yeah Navtej. I can see that. I can go to more and. I can you know, make it a presenter. No, there is no such option. It says stop video, cancel stop video, video, make host. video, make host. Okay, let me make you host. Okay, let me make you host. Or co host. Okay. Or co -host. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Share your screen. Share your screen. Oops. Something so. Let me share, share screen. Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Your co host. Your co host. Let me yeah. mute myself. Hello, everybody. I'm studying in New Carving for I'm just going to show you so that easy, which is made of dye coded by the video. First, before that, I'll tell you this. Well, scientific equation is CO2 bracket AQ, CO2 bracket G turns into, I've just read it here. Hypothetically, is, I think it will explode. Now, let's do what you're waiting for. Well, now I'm just going to open this a bit. I'm just going to pull the lintels. I think it Wow. I think that's mostly used now. I'm just gonna pull the job. But anyway. What I thought before I saw the experiment, I thought it would explode. It just did. It didn't Half of the bottle being used, and that's it. Thanks for watching.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wonderful, beautiful, very nice. Thank you so much. Can I bring the spotlight back to me? You are the co-host. You can also come to But uh, I think... I do have a Zoom expert. Okay, withdraw, uh, so I'm withdrawing the co-host permission. Fine, thank you. We experimented uh, with the... Uh, we experimented with the co-host as well. So that was good. And uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful to all of you and all the parents and all the kids who have been there uh, with us for such a long time. Uh, it was 119 to 120 participants all over the world. So it was a bit difficult in, in the start to manage it. Uh, but now we have learned a lot of lessons. Uh, we will have parallel sessions probably from the next time or if you all want uh, that if you, uh, if you can stay. But I'm very, very surprised that all the kids are, they were, they were there for two, three hours. And um, the most, uh, uh, yeah, the most uh, who gained out of the whole thing is probably me because I was there for the full time. I've listened and I've seen all the projects. So I have a lot of ideas now. Uh, it's very good that all of you have done extremely well because it is a time when we are at home and we have shown that we can be very creative when we are at home and given an opportunity uh, to be with our parents, with our mentors at home, uh, we can do wonderful stuff. As we have been doing a lot of wonderful stuff when we were at school. Uh, now it is a chance that we can create a lot of wonderful projects along with our parents. And I am very, very happy that all the parents have uh, given us such, such nice videos of the projects and I'm sure uh, if they have not directly involved in uh, the project, they have helped you in recording and getting the things sorted and sending it to us. Andy, uh, I can see you, Andy. Andy, can you speak for a while for us? Um, uh, your microphone is now selected. Yeah. Andy, I can't. Uh, uh, Andy, your, 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 mic, your mic is not working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but you are unmute, but your mic is not working. I wanted. Sophie, 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 uh, Sophie, uh, Sophie, did I present your work, Sophie? Sophie, are you with me? Yeah. Uh, did I show your work? No. Uh, so, so let me see. Did you send the video, Sophie? Yes. So, well, well, well did you receive our email, Sophie? Yeah. Why I don't see your name here, Sophie? Just give me one second. Let me see if I can see Sophie or not. Sophie, I don't see your name here. Why is your name not here with me? So don't worry, Sophie. What I'll do is that. I can, uh, I guess I can resend the video. You resend the video, is that? Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. okay, so Sophie, Sophie, can I do one thing? Can you all please be there with me, all of you? Can I make uh, make Sophie as a co-host and can you project it from your, can you share your screen, Sophie? Can, can, you, can, we, can we make you a co-host or make you a host now? Is that okay, Sophie? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me make you host now. Do you want to change host to Sophie? Yes. So you are the host now. Yeah. So, Sophie, can you share your screen and uh, do the presentation? Uh, just one second. No worries, no worries. Take your time. We, we all are here with you because we don't want any one of you to be left out. Mm. And I'm sure it will be a good project because I've seen it. But I don't know why your name didn't appear here or I'm not able to search you here. Uh, you can take time to, to share your screen. And we will see what is there with Sophie. Can you see my screen yet? All of you, can you see the screen? Yes, I can see it. Yes, yes, we can see something. Yes. 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 Yes, yes oh. Sophie, yes. Your email. Yes, I can see the email. Hi, yes, very good. My project, I want to tell you about and tell you how you disagree on our security system for that. Infrared, which is covered by a man called William Herschel. He wanted to check if some of the colours on the rainbow have different temperatures, so he checked all the colours. It turned out purple is the coolest and red is the warmest. But what Mr. Herschel realised is that there is something outside the rainbow. 
that was even warmer than the red color. That was the infrared light. I like to think of it as an extra colour of the rainbow, but you just can't see it with your eyes. These days, even if we can't see it, we can use our phone cameras to look at it. You take any TV remote, press some buttons, and look through your phone camera to see how the IR lights up. Now let's move to the project, and I will show you how you can use IR as a security device. The IR sensor will trigger the alarm when an object gets close to it. When the alarm triggers, a sad face and a sound will appear. You can reset the alarm by pressing button A. It can be placed near a door, and when the door opens, the alarm will turn on. Excellent. My Very nice. Cable and IR sensor. Wow, that was so nice. But I didn't see this. I didn't receive this video somehow. Maybe I have missed it. My apologies. But this is very, very, very interesting project. I, I, I really like this project. And what I would like you is that you also participate. All the kids who are here. Please participate. Uh, uh, please participate. Can you give the host control back to me? I don't know whether I'm still the host or not. <laughs> uh, uh, I think you become the host now. So you can give back control to me if you don't mind. Okay. So, but, but, but Sophie, it was very nice project. And why, why, why what um, is so interesting is that uh, it not only brought out, you know, it not only brought out the micro bit and the IR sensor and the external thing, but the Lego blocks, you know, the Lego blocks along with your animation was fantastic. I would love your project permanently with me. If you show it to me, I will keep it with me for my club, for our club. This is really very nice project. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Thank you so much. Uh, but I think, Sophie, uh, can you uh, request your dad to give back control to me? I don't know. Somehow I'm not able to control. Um, oh. Is there anyone else who, who, who is left, who, 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 who has not done the presentation? So, uh, okay. Can I guide uh, Sophie's dad? If you go to the participants, probably, and uh, if you right click on me and maybe give control to me. I thought I'm the host and I should be able to get control back. Right, I think I think that should have worked. Ah, yeah, I'm under control. Thank you so much. That's but fine. Sophie, well done. Sophie, Thank well you. done. And is there anyone else whom I have not yet touched? Oh, what is happening? I'm seeing Andy uh, in two screens. One Andy with the phone, Galaxy A71. And another Andy with the camera. Andy, can you can Hello. you speak to us? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you can uh, you can? Yeah. The microphone wasn't working on the PC. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I know why. Because uh, you know somebody else has muted your. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Andy, can you can you can you please pitch in? Sorry. Can you can you say a few words to all the kids here? Oh yeah, well done. Because I, the problem is, is that I was I I had that Zoom bug for half of it, so I I got hello. Um, the video wasn't working for me, but we could hear lots of things, but we couldn't see. But for the second half, then it was all working. It was all working much better. So everyone's done loads of work, and see, everyone's done loads of work. So well done. Okay, well done. Thank you so much, Andy. Yes. Anyone else who wants to say something before we leave? 
Anyone else? Any young scientist? CV, Finton, are you all happy? I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity for letting yeah, us do it. Yeah, thank you so much. Zoya, I can see your brother. Yeah. Priyal, Priyal, yeah, you want to speak? Yeah. When's the next um, festival? We, we, we are going to have the next one on 6th of June. Saturday. So maybe what we'll do on 6th of June, we may have it a bit early because we have a lot of people who are sleeping off late night. So we can move it in the morning. Uh, we can start early, but you can have, we'll have sessions and we will do it in a much better way. Let's see. Because there are some kids who are uh, uh, from India, from UAE and uh, uh, from US as well. So we'll try to see the time zone. I, I'll study the time zone and we'll try to fix up and we'll arrange the presentation in such a way that, you know, we move along with the sun. Okay? Okay. Okay. Where the sun set first, we'll take them first. Okay? So this time my strategy was whoever has mailed me first gets the first opportunity. But then thank I you, to, sir. Yeah, thank you. Then I have to track the sun. Um, okay. Anyone else? Thank yeah. you very much, all of you. Uh, Mr. Sujit, yes. if it's okay, I would like to say a couple of words. Please, so you. my name is Ravi. So I'm the Nautis dad. It's really heartening to see the efforts you've been put throughout. It's close to six hours we are on the presentation. I'm sure you would have put at least 10 times more hours on the back end to get everything organized. So really, really appreciate your support and uh, the presentation and the encouragement you're giving to the children across the globe. Really appreciate it and many, many thanks. Thank you so and much. And if anybody can support so and contribute, much. we would love to. Yeah, thank you so much. It has been our pleasure because it is a situation where we are feeling blessed to be safe at home. And what yes. I'm not, we, we don't, I'm not using any uh, any such negative things and lockdown and all. I don't like that word because we feel that we are blessed to be at home, safe at home. But at the same time, we have to bring out a mechanism of uh, dealing, not dealing, sorry, uh, adjusting with this new situation and bring new creativity with the present scenario. Absolutely. But what is very important, uh, what you all have demonstrated is that the kids can do fantastic work along with the parents. And when we can demonstrate such beautiful projects at such young age, it gives opportunity to a lot of other kids in the, all over the world to realize that they can make use of this time very, very effectively and very, very creatively, right? So that is our intention to reach uh, through this platform uh, to all the kids and all the parents that take this opportunity in giving the world something that we never thought of giving it before. So that is, that is the spirit. And that is the spirit we have to carry forward. Uh, we, we, we are sure that we will get back to a normal life very soon. But even if you are not, we should feel blessed and we should create. Thank you so much, all of you. And, uh, and we will see you in the next uh, science festival again, because we had 120 participants. We, would like to, uh, we have adjusted this time. There were another 50 odd waiting for us. So, so Arnab Roy from uh, DPS. Thank you, sir, for uh, for this session. So, so I really liked it. Thank you so much, Ankan. And it is you are from UAE, is it right? You are from Sharjah. And uh, and you are awake. Uh, that's very nice. Thank you so much. We had participants all over the world. We had participants from US, from UK, from from India. And I think what has happened is that some of the volunteers have reacted very fast and has given concentrated, you know. Uh, messages across to particular schools and all. It was nice to see participation uh, from all over the world, but I think if it spreads, uh, we, we may have uh, participation from Africa. We can have participation from uh, Australia, New Zealand, but we have to see the time zone. Maybe I'll not be able to sleep that day. Thank but you, Shrabona and Shujit. It was amazing. Thank you for taking your time. It was a long, long day and long evening for you guys. Hats off to you too for being so patient and encouraging our children. Really great opportunity for all of them. Thank you very much. Don't, don't worry. I, I, I learned the most and I, I'm working from home so I know I can adjust my timing for tomorrow as well. We have yeah. So hopefully to ho hopefully to see you all on the sixth of June in the six second uh, science festival. This is amazing when we do that at the even like in in person Kambong Science Festival. Last year we received seventy two projects, 
and this time we have received 120 projects and then another 50 were projects are on the waiting so like it's really multiplied by so many numbers that we are running like part one part two and we really need to see you again you on the 6th of june and those children though couldn't uh, take part today they will be uh, they will participate on the 6th June 1st mm -hmm. and then if, if your children again really want your children they want to show us something good we will again put them back thank you so and, much and sujit you. sujit said it's, it's funny like the the way the way the sunset will take place he will take the names that way like first eastern <laughs> side then middle side yeah. then you that that would be great. That would be great, particularly the Indian ones. Yeah, they were blessed. They were up until. So I think late, yeah, yeah, we had two. We had three things. One is from the eastern eastern coast of uh, eastern coast of US, and two from California. I don't know when they presented, but uh, yeah, they presented. And uh, uh, good thing with the sun tracking is good that we can track the sun. But if some some entry comes from Australia, you know <laughs> yeah. what is going to happen. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, and I, I did wanted to bring Tia into picture, but I think Tia has left. Tia has worked with us uh, for the science festival in Cambon, uh, making all the T-shirts and all the all the all the all the artwork is done by Tia. Uh, I, I I was about to pass it on to her, but I think Tia is not here right now. But it has been a tremendous effort by all of you. Thank you so much. Stay safe and take care, and we'll be back with more creativity. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. 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 And a break in the middle. I'll be the last one to go. Very good. Sir? I can see Priyal. Priyal, can you end the call? Nafik, Arab, the little gamer. Who is the little gamer? Who is little gamer? Arab. Arab, can you say bye bye? What? Can, can you end the call? <laughs> Only the host can. No, no, you can leave the meeting. Come on. <laughs> oh, leave. Yes. Okay, good. Priya, can you leave the meeting, please? Abhi, <laughs> Abhi, Vivek, Naktej, Bhushan, Shubha. Abhi, are you there? Vivek? Naptej, the little gamer, the Bhushan. I know this, uh, there are some kids who have kept it on and gone to sleep. Okay, bye bye. Bhushan, bye bye. Okay, let's switch off. Thank you so much. Abhi, thank you. Bye bye. End meeting for all.